Tomatoes are one of the easiest vegetables to grow. You can take a tomato from your grocery bag, preferably a desi or a heirloom variety. Take a slice or two and bury them in soil about 2 cm deep. Water this thoroughly and repeat whenever the soil dries up. Place this pot in a sunny spot. In about 20 days or so, a couple of seedlings will sprout out. Once at least 5 leaves have grown on this plant, you can replant these seedlings into a bigger pot. For replanting, you can keep all the seedlings or clip away some of them if you want only few plants. The kind of soil that I'm using for replanting is garden soil along with cocoa peat and wormy compost, all three in equal proportions. Tomatoes are shallow rooted plants, so you can choose pot which is at least 9 inch deep or more. Once you have replanted your seedlings in a bigger pot, you can place this in a spot that gets at least 3 to 4 hours of direct sun. For nutrition, you can add compost, manure or seaweed solution. I prefer to use seaweed solution because it is an instant source of all important nutrients. Mix 20 ml of it in 5 liters of water and add this to your plant. There are two common diseases or problems that arise while growing tomatoes. Yellowing of leaves and blossom end rot. If you see yellowing of leaves like this in here, that means the plant is in some kind of a stress now this stress could be because of overwatering underwatering lack of nutrients or some kind of pest infestation for pest infestation you take 10 ml of neem oil in a liter of water along with one drop of soap solution mix it well and spray it on your plant the second common problem in tomato plants is blossom end rot rot arises due to the lack of calcium availability which is actually an indirect effect of low water conditions so try and keep the soil moist especially during the summers once the flowers have started blooming you can tickle them at the base for about 2 to 3 seconds every day this tickling will help have more fruits on your plant especially if you are growing them in a balcony garden Both the male and the female parts grow next to each other in the tomato flower. Some sort of a jerk is required to dislodge the pollen onto the female part. Ideally, wind or a buzzing bee can create this jerk. But since our tomatoes a lot of times are growing in enclosed spaces or in a balcony, there might not be enough wind at the plant height, or there might not be enough buzzing bees. So a two to three second. tickling every day on your blooming tomato flowers can help create that impact there are two kinds of tomatoes that are grown usually determinant and indeterminants tomatoes that grow up till a limited height for about 3 to 4 feet and majorly bloom only once in their lifetime the fruits will be ready to harvest in about 80 days or 2 months are called determinants Most of the hybrid or heirloom varieties of tomatoes that are available in India are the determinant kind. The other kind called the indeterminants are the ones that grow huge and produce fruit until they are killed. I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comment section and thanks for watching.